Hey YouTube, it's Millie. We are unboxing the 70s bag today, which you probably already know what it is from the title. But in my last video, I had you guys try to guess if you could figure out which bag it was from the 70s that I got. Last time I checked, I don't think anybody got it. So let's go ahead and look at it. And I think today, I did already look at it. This is not like a true unboxing. I think I'm going to do a little rehab already and I'll try to film that with you guys today. I have some ideas of what I'd like to do to it just to get started. But let's take a look. Okay, you can probably guess what it is based on this. I got a vintage courier made in New York City from the 70s and you can see she is very well loved. I don't know exactly what color this would be. I'm not as informed on some of the vintage colors, especially if you go past like the 90s. I don't really know the names or before the 90s. So if anyone knows what color this would be, I thought it could be mahogany, but I'm not totally sure. So let me show you the inside. It's that raw backside of the leather. It has the buckle straps. It did come with the original hang tag, but you may be able to tell. I don't know if this means it's split. I have heard about some sellers purposely splitting them, but the seller I got this from is really good, so I don't think she would have done that intentionally. It may just have fallen off. Or is this what they looked like in the 70s? If anyone knows that, let me know. This is the oldest bag that I own, so I'm not totally sure. And then here is the strap, which is in like such good condition. The only thing is that one of the, would this be a grommet? One of those is missing, but that honestly does not bother me. I'm not really going to notice that. The only other, there's a couple things wrong with the bag, which is to be expected when it's from the 70s, but there's a little bit of a tear here. It does not impact the use of the bag, and then there's also some marks here on the top, which I can't really tell if they're scratches or pen marks. But otherwise, the bag is in, like, really good condition. Let me show you the inside. This might be a little hard. So there is the Creed story patch, whatever you want to call it. And I was talking to Dawn in the comments of my last video. So on some of the creeds it will say where the bag was made so the ergo bag from the 90s that i or er, yeah was that the 90s 98 um it says made in costa rica in the actual text of the creed this one which is going to be really hard to show you guys because of the light this one at the very bottom says made in new york city and these were on some of the 70s, 60s, maybe even 80s bags. Some of them also say just made in the United States, but you can tell that they're made in New York. But this one specifically says made in New York City. You may be able to see that on the very bottom there. And this does have a number on the bottom but it doesn't really tell us a whole lot because they weren't doing plant letters on the bags at this point so i think what we're gonna do and i'm just gonna film this and like get right into it i don't know that there's gonna be a whole lot of talking this may be more just like asmr if you want to watch me rehab the bag a little bit i have this little handheld vacuum that i recently got so I'm going to vacuum the inside of the bag, all the raw parts of the bag, and then I am going to use saddle soap on this and get some leather CPR on here. This is an old bag, and I know that the previous owner did a really good job of taking care of it, but it is a little bit misshapen right now. And so I want to kind of get some stuff going with this to add some shape back. 
I'm going to be putting a bunch of these inside to give it some shape. So let's go ahead and get started. This thing is magical. If you guys want me to add the link for it, I can. I think it was like 20 to 30 bucks, pretty cheap. And you get a bunch of attachments. I'm gonna be using this one. So we actually get what we need off of here. So again, like I said, we're going to do saddle soap with this little round brush. I need to get a little bit of water, a very small amount, and we'll do the strap and the entire bag. And I am going to use a old t-shirt to wipe up the excess as we go. I'm gonna pause really quick and go get tissue paper. I think it's gonna be better to stuff this with than what it is currently stuffed with, so hold on. What I'm gonna do is use some of this to flatten out the bottom here. I tend to keep these. These are just from like coach bags that I have bought. And then I'm gonna use some of this get the sides okay then we will add this in yeah we'll do three okay and this is the infamous tab that led to the creation of the tabbies And in another video, I think I will compare this bag to a remade courier that came out in 2017 that I own. My dog is trying to get in 
the video here. What do you need, buddy? Papa, Papa. Okay, I know. Do I need to take a break? Go lay down for me, okay? Okay, the bag has dried for the most part. And we are going to add leather CPR now. So let's go in the same order. We'll start at the bottom and then work our way to the top. Losing daylight, so I apologize for that in advance. Okay, that's gonna be it for tonight. My camera is going to die. So we're gonna leave it here. It's gonna dry some more. You can see how hydrated it is. The color looks even richer after doing that. But we're gonna let it dry and then we'll come back and see how it's doing tomorrow. It's the next day and we're gonna pick up and finish the video. I've edited most of it already. And I don't know how this is going to be with me jumping between like regular speed and two and a half times speed. So let me know if that's OK for you guys, because I do kind of like these rehab kind of just doing things with me videos. So I might keep doing that. But let me know how you feel about me jumping between the speeds as we go through. So this is what the bag is looking like after everything we did yesterday. There is one more step that I did later last night, and that was adding Chamber Chamberlain's Leather Milk Healing Balm with this sponge. And this is a very solid substance. Obviously, it's a balm. So this is really meant more for the corners of the bag. So I took this and kind of rubbed it along those corners. I did kind of buff out a little bit the rest of the bag. And I also, before I used the balm, I did buff this out with the horsehair brush. I am extremely happy with how she's looking. So let me show you guys some close-up shots of what this leather looks like. The patina on this is wild. There's a couple of kind of like dark spots that seem to show up after I did all of the rehabbing that we did yesterday. 
look at the bottom of this. I mean, I know you guys saw that in the rest of the video, but just the patina on this leather is wild to me. So I was a little worried about these dark spots, but after reviewing everything that I was able to find online, I don't think these are of concern. I think these are just kind of like what you're going to deal with with older leather. The main thing I was worried about is making sure that that's not mold because I know leather mold can spread very easily. And so obviously I don't want anything to damage any of my other bags. I don't want to risk anything happening to them. So for people who might be maybe more experienced with this, I'm trying to show you kind of like what everything looks like. Let me know if that looks like anything of concern, but I also think it lightened up as it dried. So I'm hoping that's not anything, anything for me to be concerned about. There's like a little bit of a dark spot right there, right here, and then right there. Those are the only ones that I could find. If anyone has any thoughts about that, let me know. But I am really satisfied with how she's looking. I also am really excited that the shape took so well to what I stuffed it with. And I don't know that I showed all of the shots of what I did with the strap um, just in editing. I edited some stuff out, but I did do the exact same steps with the strap. So I did use saddle soap on this, leather CPR, and then I added a little bit of that healing balm, but not a ton. The strap is in pretty good shape, actually. So not too worried about that, but I wanted to add a little bit just to make sure it is fully hydrated. I'm probably just going to let this sit for a while. I want to see how it looks after a couple days, and then I might add another layer of leather CPR depending on how it's looking. I also am thinking about switching to using BIC4 as a conditioner instead of leather CPR. I've been doing a little bit of research on that. So if anyone has an opinion on that, let me know in some of the groups I'm in. People have differing opinions, but I had seen some reasoning for why BIC4 might be a better choice than leather CPR. So again, let me know if you guys have an opinion on that. And also, if you have any thoughts about this darkening and those couple of spots that I pointed out, let me know. But again, this is a... 50 something year old bag I don't know the exact year that this was made but sometime in the 70s so it's gonna have some love marks on it I'm okay with that I just want to make sure it's not anything that's potentially dangerous to the rest of my collection the other vintage bags that I got because we have two more on the way those I will do other videos about once they get here I don't think they'll be here until later this weekend but I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about this bag. This is a holy grail bag for me. I have wanted this bag for years and to be able to own it is really exciting. So let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear what your guys' holy grail bags are, especially if you have like a vintage one from Coach that you're interested in. And then I will keep you posted on the other bags that are on the way. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, YouTube.